Hello everybody, Max with Avon Website Pro here, and today we're going to be talking about Ajax and then Ajax with jQuery, and I'm just going to illustrate the differences between the two. This particular uh, file that we have on the screen right now is a raw JavaScript Ajax function, and whenever we hit replace text, we see it's this text was replaced with Ajax. Now let me go to the next tab. Here's the next tab. Now jQuery will replace this text and we hit that. We replace the text with jQuery and Ajax. So you see that uh, the process that happens is very similar but they're programmed in different ways. So what I'm going to do with you is first I'm going to show you how to program this one where we replace the text with just the Ajax, just the raw Ajax. And then we're going to go back and we're going to do the exact same thing and do it with jQuery so you can see the differences in the programming language. Let's start out with bare bones HTML and we're going to pop a title in here into the head tag. And you'll notice that I always have my students put the head tag whenever they're uh, writing their bare bones HTML and the reason is going to become evident now because whenever we start uh, this particular one let me go ahead and throw in a div and explain what we're doing here okay so the div ID is called display and this is the text that will be replaced and I just put that in an h1 tag then we created a button the type is equal to button on click we're gonna do make a function called Ajax call and then we're going to have replaced text. Okay, and then we close out that div right here. So here's the beginning of the div, the closing of the div. Let's go ahead and make a new line. And we'll put in our script to execute this function. And let's go over it here real quick. So whenever they click on the button, they're going to have an Ajax call of, you know, re in the title of its replaced text. So it's going to pull in this function here. We're going to make an XML HTTP request, and then here's the var, which is a URL, which is the ajax.txt. We'll just go ahead and put, and make a new file and call it text.txt. Okay, let me go ahead and save that. So that's stored in the URL variable, and then we take the HTTP dot on ready state change, and then we call this function. If this dot ready state is equal you have to have two equal sign to four and and this dot status is equal to 200 we're checking to make sure everything is okay here and this is a little bit different in my other ajax tutorial and i'm just bringing this out document docket element by id is display dot enter html notice we're using this again okay so this is a function that uh, is built into javascript so uh can get whatever this is and then we grab the response text now the response text is what is ever whatever is in this text.txt file okay because that's what we're trying to get <clears throat> and we're going to put it into the display div up here so we're going to replace everything in here including the button we're going to have the button disappear this time too and we're going to use the open get method before on the other tutorials we were using the post method we're going to use the get method and then the url we call that true and the x http send okay and then that's going to make it all the magic happen so let's go ahead and uh, create a text.txt file okay so we'll copy that we'll create a new file and uh, we could put an h1 tag in here h1 and say this is the replacement text okay and then i'm just going to go ahead and save that as text.txt and then click save okay so here we are back at index make sure that's saved let's bring up the uh that particular index.php file that we're working on. So this text will be replaced. We can say replace text and voila, there you go. This is the replacement text. Okay, so that is the process with just using Ajax. 
but let's go over the jQuery method. All right, so let's go back down to our bare bones HTML and do this one at a time so you can see the difference differences. You know, first we'll start out with our title here. And the title is going to be Replace Text with jQuery and Ajax. Okay, so the key here is we already know how to use Ajax, but now we're going to use jQuery with it. All right, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to grab a jQuery library. Okay, and this is the jQuery library we're going to use. It's from Google, and we're going to take jQuerymin.js. Okay, this is what's going to bring it into make all the magic happen for us so we don't have to type out as much script and let me show you the difference let's go ahead and put in the div of uh, display here and our button okay so the div ID is display okay and then we're starting out with our uh, jQuery replace this text the h2 and then we're gonna close out our div tag here and so button replace text button okay now notice we're not putting all of the information on that we had the other one the on click event and we're just going to compare them in the end but let's go ahead and uh, grab the uh, jquery script and you can see how much shorter this script is than the regular ajax script okay so we have we start off with this dollar sign document dot ready function right and then the next thing we do is we come in here and target the button click function. So that's, you know, whenever this button is clicked, it's going to go out and load the uh, text. Let's go ahead and just use the text we created in the last one, text.txt. We already know what it says. And we'll change this. This is, this is the replacement uh, text. And we'll say with it jQuery all right like that I'll go ahead and save that we'll go back to index so it's gonna <clears throat> it's gonna have three different functions that we have in jQuery number one the ready function number two the click function and then the load function okay and then it's gonna target this div and replace whatever text is within here in that all right so let's go ahead and save that and go back to, to Ajax so jQuery now will replace this text. So replace this text. Okay, this is the replacement text with jQuery. So you can see the difference on how those two work. Now let me open the uh, the raw index that we were using earlier with just you know the regular JavaScript, Ajax, and let me put it in here. And we're going to compare these side by side. So you now this is basically the exact same code, and I have 24 lines of code here. In the jQuery, I only have 17 lines of code. That's because, mainly it's because of this script. Okay, I don't have to use as many um, lines to program these functions. Okay, so uh, there's a lot less coding whenever it comes to jQuery. But I thought that it was important that you also understood, you know, um, just because jQuery is making these functions, you, you might want to know how this does this. Well, this is, this is how it does it. It uses that XML HTTP request. The only thing is that jQuery stores them in functions that automatically get loaded on the page. So you can use their programming language to program different Ajax loading events. And you do that by just grabbing the library and putting it on your web page, and then you can start coding you know, accordingly. So you could do anything with anything that you could do with jQuery. You could do with Ajax. You just have to use that particular programming language. So uh, from now on, though, we're going to use we're you know we're going to dabble into both of them. So I can show you how to do it both uh, both ways. And uh, that's what we're going to do with these this Ajax series because I think that it's important for you not to use just dummy text and jQuery. It's not dummy text, but it's a little bit dummy down for people. Uh, whenever you're using raw JavaScript like this for Ajax calls, then it's a, a little bit, yeah, it takes a little bit more knowledge and more sophistication, but if you ever come into any issues, you can understand what's going on and, and correct, the, uh, correct the problem through proper troubleshooting.
This is Max with A1 Website Pro. I hope this tutorial was beneficial to you. I'll see you in the next video.